Hey everyone, how y'all doing? I got two new knives and I thought we'd do a quick unboxing and first impressions on them. Um, these just, just came today. I just took them out of the, the um, shipping package. I haven't opened them yet, looked at them. So, got one from CJRB and one from QSP. So, let's move that one out of the way. Let's take a look at the CJRB. There's their Instagram channel. That's the model number J1912MS-ODG. And you know what the that stands for? We'll look at it. It is the small feldspar. And a green micarta and yeah that's pretty nice I don't have any real micarta knives I got that CRKT minimum list cleaver that's got micarta handle on it too but it's really small well this thing's these feldspars are nice Like I said, this is a small one, but let's flick her open. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's a pretty nice looking knife. Centering's dead on. And finger flick it. Yeah, I really like this. Now you can see the it's real, you can see the edge layers of it. So, yeah. <clears throat> real quick, we'll do a couple of size comparisons and I'll read off some of the specs for you. Like I said, I just got this, this is the first time I'm seeing it. But, Ontario Rat 2. D2, very similar. They're almost dead on, same size. Obviously, the blade shape's a little different. Try the Civivi Elementum. This is the S35VN bottle. And again, very, very close. So. That means I'll like it because I like the rat too and I like the elementums. Let's try the honey badger. This is medium size with D2, so it's half an inch or so smaller than the medium honey badger. How about the K bar dozer? Yeah, very close. Very close in blade length, handles a little longer on a dozer. So, those are some of my favorite little knives to compare them to. But, this thing's pretty neat. Overall dimensions you got 7 inches overall, you got a 3 inch blade. Blade stock is point. 0 0.11 drop point um, it's flat ground flat grind stone wash finish handle is 4 inches long the handle width is 1.125 I guess this way I'm not sure exactly where they would measure it but handle thickness 0 0.48 and it's micarta um, rides on bearings action is really smooth a little shake shut I'm sure it'll break in a little bit and I take it apart clean it and lube it up a little might make it a little better um, 
there's no jimping on the blade at all but you get good grip on the handles it's a liner lock locks up good there's no no play at all any direction full stainless steel liners you can see they're not milled out um, <clears throat> deep carry right hand left hand tip up pocket clip now the pocket clips and the screws are recessed on this so that's nice you got lots of room in there so it's, this is going to be a nice carry you got a lanyard hole brass um hourglass standoffs you got a brass pivot ring that that looks good with a green micarta uh it weighs it's not very heavy it weighs 2.6 ounces so the Ontario rat rat weighs 2.8 so it's a little lighter than the rat, rat two, but man, I do like this. There's a serial number D2, it's D2 blade. If I didn't mention that. Dual thumb thumb studs. Got a little little tiny finger trial. It's more of a sharpening trial, but for delicate. Detail cuts you could probably use it Like I always say I got I wear extra large size gloves and This actually fits pretty good it's comfortable Get all four fingers on there right on the end But yeah pocket clip and I can feel it just a little bit <clears throat> But I don't think that's going to bother me um, I complain about pocket clips a lot. I did have, I had a big ganglion cyst and I had trigger finger and everything and I, I had surgery and anything that touches that, rubs that, that bothers me. So, this feels pretty good. Pretty good. I like it. I like the micarta. Yeah, we'll set that up there, move on to the QSP, and this is the Penguin D2 Gene Micarta handle. So, I've been really anxious to get this one also. So in QSP, they give you a little card with all the details. You can pause that and look at it. Screen shoot it. Um, the only other QSP I've dealt with is a pango pangolin. Pangolin, yeah, I think that's it. My son's knife, and that's that, that's a big knife, but it was pretty nice. So take this out. <clears throat> oh yeah, I like that blue jean. That is cool. Um, it's a little smoother. Well, they're both kind of smooth. The Fellas Bar has got contoured handles. I don't know if you can see. They're rounded. That makes it feel pretty nice. These are flat. But. Yeah, I don't feel too bad. Blade centering on this is excellent. Dead center. Both of them are. Um, let's open this thing up. Yeah, that's nice too. Try that again. Yeah, I think the Fells bar is a little, a little stiff for detent. But they're both good. Man. I like that blade. This feels really nice. This feels good in hand. It's a little, I don't know, it's a little taller. Or, 
I'm going to be doing this all day, probably switching back and forth. But, yeah, this feels really good in hand. I don't feel the pocket clip at all. But, it's D2. This sheep's foot. Warm cleaver, I don't know. Kind of weird shape. Rising bearings also. Liner lock. Lockups. Good. No blade play. Nice my cutter handles. Now these screws kind of, these screws are recessed. These ones kind of stick up. Pocket clip goes actually behind the scale. And one screw is higher than the other. But looks like got plenty of room. It shouldn't be no problem. This has a little oblong lanyard hole. Um, liners on this are not milled out. Neither one of them, neither one are milled out. This one feels a little heavier. Let's weigh that real quick. Yeah, this one weighs 3.2. The Felspar was 2.6. 3.2. Yeah, you can feel you can feel a little difference there. <clears throat> so, some size comparisons. Let's use a small Feldspar. The Penguin is a little bit longer. It's just a touch longer blade, a little longer handle. Uh, same, same things. Rat 2, close. Civivi Elementum, real close. So, yeah, that's a good size comparison. It's almost the same as the Elementum. And Honey Badger, Warren Cleaver, this is why I brought this out, kind of similar blade. Honey Badger, the medium Warren Cleaver blade is just a little bit longer, mainly blade length. And the old K-Bar Dozer. Blade, blade's a little shorter on a dozer and the handle's a little longer on a dozer. But, man. I'm really digging the blue Jean Micarta. Digging both of them. Um, handle thickness on the Penguin is 4 point, or, yeah, 0 0.46. <clears throat> so, uh, Fellas Bar is a little bit wider, thicker. Um, I like the pocket clip on the Fellas Bar a little better, I think. But, man, the action on, on the Penguin is nice. Barely, barely a shake shut. Yeah, I think I, you know, take it apart, clean it up. Lubricate it, break it in a little bit. Um, I think the penguin, I'm not sure. Does it ride on bearings or I think it rides on washers. And if I can get my flashlight out of my pocket. And, yeah, it looks like washer, yeah, bronze washers. Yeah, I think it's on washers, and the action's actually smoother, better. I know the Felsbar is on, yeah, that's a, little, that's a stiff detent. You'll never fail this, I mean, holy cow. 
It snaps out like the centrals. So that's on bearings. I think this is on washers, and this is the action. This is nice. Yeah, man, I'm digging both of these. <clears throat> I'm gonna carry these. It's got a little oil on it. Um, and I'll definitely come back and do do a full review on these. I still have to do one on the Civivi Elementum with a S35V in steel. And, um, yeah, so these are very cool. And I didn't mention the prices. Um, the Feldspar Micarta model is $49.95, so just under 50 bucks. And this one. Man, I like this one. This one was twenty nine sixty six, under thirty dollars. I love this blade. That is nice. Blade thickness. What did I say? If I did, is um. Now let's measure it. Zero point one one eight. So zero point one two. The Felspar is a little thinner, 0 0.108, so 0 0.11. Um, yeah, Penguin's a little bigger. Maybe that's why it feels a little better in my hand, but yeah, I like both of these. So, anyways, that's it. I was unboxing. I said it was going to be short, and it's 17 minutes. Ramble down. Um, if you like this video, leave a like, leave a comment if you want to see a full review on these or, you know, a comparison video between different knives. Um, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Until next time, bye.